as we prepare ourselves to enter in the presence of the Lord, as we welcome Jesus in our hearts, and as we spend this time with Him, quality time, talking with Him, sharing our experiences with Him, and also narrating our difficulties and worries in life. Let us pray for the grace that we may have this gift of persistence, that we may be humble enough to ask for help, that when difficult time comes, we may not hesitate to pray and to ask the Father to give us what we require. At the same time, let us also pray for the grace that we may acknowledge others in our lives. Rather than being individualistic, we may become communitarian people living together and working as one community. And keeping these thoughts in mind, let us take a comfortable posture. Let us become aware of our surrounding area. Become aware of the room where you are in. Become aware of the place where you are seated. Try to feel the air around you on your skin. Try to listen to the various sounds around you. There may be the sound of traffic, sound of birds chirping. You may hear sound of insects or the sound of the fan or some electrical appliance in the background. The key is to become aware of these sounds. And in the process of becoming aware, you realize that you will be able to identify these sounds. In doing so, what happens is that these sounds are no longer distracting you. You are able to sort of segregate these sounds. And in other words, your conversation with Jesus remains unaffected. A simple example will help us here. When we are talking to somebody who is very close to us, whom we are intimately connected with, we see that even though there may be a lot of distraction around us, a lot of sound, a lot of shouting, still we are able to give a full dedication to that particular person. That same thing should happen in prayer. In spite of everything around us, we should be able to give a hundred percent full dedication to Jesus with whom we spend this time. And therefore we see that this should be a privileged time for us, a time wherein we feel at ease with Him, a time wherein we are able to be our normal selves without any masks, without anything to cover up our shortcomings. Because He knows our shortcomings, He knows our difficulties. And therefore we need to be original in front of Jesus. Now, as we have been able to enter in this process of becoming aware of the things around us, we need to thank the Lord for all that He does for us. In life we see that the Lord has blessed us abundantly right from the time of our birth. But very rarely do we take time out to thank Him for all that He has done. Sometimes we see that we take it for granted. Or sometimes we may not be able to recognize God working in various things. We see that Jesus communicates to us in the silence of our hearts and sometimes also through events and people around us. And if we are not aware, we may not be able to recognize His graces. That is why the emphasis is on becoming aware. And now as we begin this prayer, it would be right and appropriate to begin on this note of gratitude. And therefore, Lord, we want to thank you for the gift of life. You have given us the gift of companionship, friendship, relations, 
you have given us various talents, abilities and through all this you have expressed your love, care and concern for us. And therefore Lord we thank you for this gift of life. Lord we also want to thank you for the gift of this day. A day that will present to us plenty of opportunities to make a difference in the lives of others or maybe to help others to complete something that was left incomplete. Or sometimes maybe today's day will give us the opportunity to learn something new, to reflect or improve in certain areas. And Lord, as we go about doing our activities today, we ask you for the grace to be with us, to protect us and most importantly, show us the way so that whatever we do may be in accordance with your will. Lord, we also thank you for guarding us and protecting us all through the night. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our family members, friends, near and dear ones and all those who play a very important role in our lives. We see that there are certain individuals who are instrumental in shaping us, in molding us, in making us who we are. These people have dedicated their time and energy in shaping us and making us who we are. And therefore we owe all our success, all our abilities to the hard work of these people. And therefore, Lord, we want to thank you first and foremost for their presence in our lives. And we also ask you that you bless them abundantly and give them all the graces that they may require in life. Lord, at the same time, we want to thank you for all the talents, abilities that you have given us, gifts that have helped us to contribute to the common good. And therefore, Lord, we ask you that you may be present in these gifts so that whatever we do, we may do it for the betterment of others. We may do it for the common good. We may do it to build the kingdom. Lord, we also thank you for the experiences that we have had. There may have been some very good experiences, joyful, happy experiences, which all of us cherish, all of us want to remember, something that we always hold on to. But on the other hand, there also would have been experiences of fear, experiences which have been difficult, tough, learning experiences, bitter experiences. Even though we may have struggled through these experiences, but we have gained a lot, we have learned a lot about ourselves. We have learned about our shortcomings and this has helped us to grow in those areas. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for these experiences that have made us stronger, that have revealed to us something about ourselves. And Lord, we thank you for your presence in our lives. When the going was tough, when it was difficult to have faith, you were there guiding us, protecting us, leading us all along the way. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for your presence in our lives, for being there, for guiding us, showing us the way and leading us on. And Lord, at the same time, we also acknowledge that we have not been our best selves. Sometimes we have disobeyed your commands. Sometimes we have gone away from you. And for all these times, Lord, we ask pardon. Especially for the moments wherein we have neglected the cry of the needy, where we have not been good neighbors, where we have been interested only in ourselves, where we have focused on the I in our lives. We ask pardon for these moments and we ask you, for the grace that we may be able to correct these errors in our lives so that we may not repeat the same mistakes over and over again. And Lord, we ask you to be with us and guide us with your protective presence. 
Now, as we have become aware of the things around us, it is also important to reflect back and be reconciled with ourselves. Because it is only when we are reconciled with ourselves, when we are in harmony with ourselves, that truly we can experience God within us and also in the others. And therefore, in order to have this encounter of the other, encountering God in otherness, we need to be at peace and harmony with ourselves. So for this, we need to be aware of our thoughts, be aware of our emotions, our feelings. We realize that if our thoughts are here and there, it can distract us, it can take us away. Same thing with our emotions and feelings. Take for example anxiety. If we are anxious about what we will do today, how we will carry on this task, our whole mind will be thinking about how to do this, how to do that. So we may be physically present to the Lord, but mentally we will be here and there. And therefore we need to clear these thoughts, offer them to the Lord. And let this be a time wherein you share with him all your difficulties, worries, sufferings, etc. Because the Lord says, come to me all you who are burdened and I will give you rest. Therefore feel free to express yourself and at the same time be alert to listen to the advice that Jesus tells you. And now let us place our prayers and petitions before the Lord. Lord, we pray for the grace that we may be persistent, that we may recognize our shortcomings and that we not, may not be shy of asking for help, that we may recognize the presence of others in our lives, that we may be able to be dependent on your grace, on your will. Lord, we also pray for all those who have asked us to pray for them. And we ask you, Lord, that you give them all the graces that they may require in life. Lord, we also pray for all those who celebrate their birthdays and wedding anniversaries today. We ask you that you may give them good health of mind and body and guide them in all the activities of their life. We also remember all those who are working on some major project, those who are preparing for exams or job interviews, that they may be able to get the fruit of their hard work. And Lord, we also pray for all those who are sick, those in hospitals, those who are suffering from various ailments. Lord, we ask you that you be with them, give them your healing touch, so that touched by your healing presence, they may recover and return to a normal life. And as we enter, into this prayer as we offer this morning offering. Lord, we ask you for the grace that we may be persistent, that we may be other-centered, that we may be able to be open to the Lord, depending on Him and through Him being able to radiate His love to others. Let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Pope for the month of October, a church open to everyone. We pray for the Church, ever faithful to and courageous in preaching the Gospel, 
May the church be a community of solidarity, fraternity, and welcome always living in an atmosphere of synodality. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended Thee, and I detest all my sins because of Thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend Thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me. 
Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in the eye that sees me, Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for St. Joseph's Protection O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so prompt, so strong, before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O Saint Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession, and obtain for me from your Divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ our Lord, so that, having engaged here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O Saint Joseph, I never weary contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach while he reposes near your heart. Press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. Saint Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Prayer of Thanksgiving God of all blessings, source of all life, giver of all grace, we thank you for the gift of life, for the breath that sustains life, for the food of this earth that nurtures life, for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life. 
we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Litany to Mary the Loreto Litany Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ 
graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of Virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of Mercy, pray for us. Mother of Divine Grace, pray for us. Mother of Hope, pray for us. Mother Most Pure, pray for us. Mother Most Chaste, pray for us. Mother Inviolate, pray for us. Mother Undefiled, pray for us. Mother Most Amiable, pray for us. Mother Admirable, pray for us. Mother of Good Counsel, pray for us. Mother of our Creator, pray for us. Mother of our Saviour, pray for us. Virgin Most Prudent, pray for us. Virgin Most Venerable, pray for us. Virgin Most Renowned, pray for us. Virgin Most Powerful, pray for us. Virgin Most Merciful, pray for us. Virgin Most Faithful, pray for us. Mirror of Justice, pray for us. Seat of Wisdom, pray for us. Cause of our Joy, pray for us. Spiritual Vessel, pray for us. Vessel of Honor, pray for us. Singular Vessel of Devotion, pray for us. Mystical Rose, pray for us. Tower of David, pray for us. Tower of Ivory, pray for us. House of Gold, Pray for us. Ark of the Covenant, pray for us. Gate of Heaven, pray for us. Morning Star, pray for us. Health of the Sick, pray for us. Refuge of Sinners, pray for us. Solace of Migrants, pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted, pray for us. Help of Christians, pray for us. Queen of Angels, pray for us. Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen Assumed Into Heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Families, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. 
Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord God, that we, your servants, may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael the Archangel for protection. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friends, the readings of today will invite us to be persistent and determined in our lives. We have often heard the saying, try and try till you succeed. And in life we have realized that we are able to do things better when we are able to collaborate with others. Sometimes we may have only one idea, but when we collaborate with others, we get different opinions, different views, and that increases the beauty of the work, that also increases the depth of our reflection. Similarly, we see that many a times we have the tendency of saying it, I did it, rather than saying I was able to do it. Now you may wonder what's the difference between the two. When we say that I did it, the emphasis is on the I. That means I have done it everything with my power. I have not required the help of some things or someone. On the other hand, when we say, I was able to do it, here the emphasis is on able, which means you have depended on some sources, you have depended on some other people. And therefore, with the help of those people, you have, in a way, been able to achieve what you have achieved. And this statement, I've been able to do it, calls for the element of humility as well. 
acknowledging the presence of others in our lives. Therefore, the whole aspect of being other-centered, of encountering God with others, makes sense here. Now, today's first reading from the letter to the Galatians will reveal to us that St. Paul is not shy from correcting others. In yesterday's first reading, we have seen that he corrected the people for creating these kind of divisions based on simple reasons. Yesterday, of course, we have seen that how he tackled the whole issue of people behaving differently with one another just on the basis of either being circumcised or uncircumcised. In today's gospel, he tells the people that they need to be dependent on God. They need to acknowledge the presence of God in their lives. There was this tendency slowly creeping in among the people about being dependent on the law. Now we see that the scribes and the Pharisees, for them the law was the ultimate. That means whatever is written in the law, if I have done it, I am supposed to get the grace. Rather than being dependent on God for the grace, they attributed everything to their effort. But we see that Jesus was able to interpret the correct meaning of the law. And he was able to tell the people, the law is in place to fulfill this, to accomplish this particular purpose. That made it easier for the people to follow the law. Rather than just following the law out of force, we see that even in our lives, when we do things wholeheartedly, there is satisfaction, we enjoy doing the work. Rather, if we are forced to do something, it becomes a burden. And that is exactly what Jesus emphasized during his ministry. Now, turning our attention to today's gospel, we see that it begins itself with a small parable wherein Jesus narrates the incident of one friend going to another to ask for something because his friend had come at midnight and he had nothing to offer him. So this other friend, even though he is in bed, he may be irritated and may say, I am asleep, I cannot give you anything. Now, if the other friend is persistent, out of irritation, he will get up and give him something. And that is why Jesus says, do not be afraid to ask. As I said, it requires the element of humility. And therefore, when we pray, we need to seek, we need to ask, we need to knock. These three elements are always there in prayer. Now, God knows what we require, he knows our needs, but it is our duty on our part to express our need, our dependence on Him. And therefore, as we reflect on these readings, as we welcome Jesus into our hearts, we pray for this gift of persistence that we may be determined in what we do. Above all, let us pray for this grace that we may be other-centered, that we may be able to recognize the goodness in others, that we may acknowledge that we depend on others, that others contribute. We may acknowledge their contributions in our lives. And most importantly, that we may be able to recognize the presence of God in our lives and thus radiate this through our words and deeds. Amen.